Okay, it is another episode of Cook the with me. And now we are with Chef Dre Malarkey of Wild and Chargao. And he's gonna be teaching me something really cool today. Another first for me. I mean, what's new? I'm learning every episode. So what are you gonna teach me today? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So today we're gonna get into something that you might feel is complicated, but I wanna demystify. Demystify right, is our word for the day. Okay, we're going to be making a fresh pasta, and okay. we're going to be doing one of Wild's signature OG dishes, our rolled lasagnetta. Rolled lasagnetta, and what is that? Why is it called lasagnetta? Okay, um, because I decided to call it that. I He's ran out of I ran out of names, and lasagnetta <laughs> was the first thing that came to my it mind, dope, and it though. sounds nice. It yeah. sounds nice. Rolls lasagnetta. Lasagnetta. Right? Right? It's like I'm mad at you. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. No, but okay. So, do you think I can handle? Okay, let dish? me let me give you the breakdown. Okay. All right, we're gonna make fresh nervous. pasta. We're gonna make a ricotta mix. We're gonna be roasting talong. We're gonna be making a borzen cheese. Okay, and we're gonna roll all this deliciousness. We're gonna put it in the Pyrex. We're gonna bake it. Okay, we got a lot of steps going on, but each step is quite simple okay. in its execution. Okay. Whew. Okay, Denise, I believe in you. You believe in me? I believe in you. We can do this. We, we need the pep talk. We need the pep We can do this together. <laughs> we can do this. All right. I think we That's got this. We All right, so first, what are we gonna do? It's gonna be my first time to ever make pasta. <laughs> so intimidated. Okay, what I always like to say is, if a nonna can do this nonna. on the streets of Roma, we can do it here in your kitchen. At right? home. At home. <laughs> we can if do they it can here do it on the streets home. of Roma, we can do it at home. True. All right, so let's get to it. What is our first step? Okay, our first step will be preparing the pasta dough. So what we actually do here, at Wild, we like to take things a little bit different. We like okay. to change it up a little yeah. bit and add a little pizzazz where we can, just because it's nice. It makes it wild. Right? And you love what you're doing, so you're throwing all of your passion and excitement to it. Yeah. Do it your way, right? So we're going to be making a turmeric pasta dough. Turmeric, okay. Okay, so it wouldn't cool, just cool. be a plain one. Turmeric yeah. adds not only healthy, color. it's good for anti-inflammation, it's good for color, it gives a nice earthiness to the actual dough and a beautiful yellow tinge, right? Perfect. I'm all for it. So you're going to get dirty for this. Sure. I hope you're ready. You're going to get these hands. You're yes. going to get this table a little messy. We are all sanitized, but I will use gloves because... Yes, no, no. Gloves are good. Nails. Gloves are Hygiene good. Nothing first. wrong with that. I'm ready to roll my sleeves up and get down and dirty. Sleeves already roll, baby. Oh. Sleeves already but, roll, baby. You know, baby. I, I dressed to match you today just <laughs> so people can, you know, well, you know, you gotta, you gotta the keep, denim uh, You got to keep that going, right? right, you know? All right, so I'm ready for you. Okay, so we're gonna start first with the flour. Awesome. Okay. How many do you I'd like to see you get one cup of flour. Okay. I'm already shaking. <laughs> one cup of flour. I'm gonna just. Can I just yeah, do this? Yeah, go for it. Go Is for it. Is there rules to this? Are we... We're not baking, so it's less math, more love. Okay. Okay. Then... Right here on the table. Just like. Just there. Like a little. Quapang. One, two, three. There you go. I hope it stays, I hope it stays, I hope it stays. Oh. Well, that's all right. We're going to break it up anyway. Cool, yeah. So what we're going to be doing is the first step of pasta dough is you make a well. Yes, that I have okay. seen. So we're just going to spread out our beautiful flour that you made there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and just make a little well in the center. Okay. So the next step we're going to be doing is separating eggs. Mm. We're going to be needing one whole egg. One whole egg. Two egg yolks. Two egg yolks. There you go. We got the gloves and we are gonna get messy. So I'm gonna do it. Yep. Mm -hmm. So what you wanna do is you wanna keep your yolk in here, you wanna keep your whites there. Okay. Ooh, let's very see. Very good, very good. Okay. Excellent, you got it. Yes. There we go. These are nice eggs. So let all that albumin slide off. Yep. Yes. Very exciting stuff, guys. Right? Very exciting stuff. We need to do this the right okay? legit You're good. way. You're good. That's excellent. La yolk. La yolk. My first la yolk. Just a little. Yes. Actually, I can even use my hands to catch. You can use your hands, but then of course that becomes a little less unsanitary. Yeah. Personally, I use my hands, but you gotta keep washing your hands. That's why I okay, so that's good. the trick. That's why there's that's always why a sink in good. the kitchen. But you got it. You got it. I got it. Okay. Okay. 
Excellent. Awesome. Right here. Okay. Okay, and we're going to be needing... <gasps> oh. No! Ah. Okay. Just to make it feel better. Cool. Thank you. Okay. And then we're going to be needing one whole egg in the center. Just do that. Boom. Now we need to season it. Okay. Because okay. pasta dough without any salt really has no flavor. So you're going to put a pinch of salt. A, a pinch. Just a pinch. A pinch. Yes. Like that. Is that enough? Maybe, or maybe a bit of a bigger pinch. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking it easy. You know, we do we do strong pinches in kitchens. You know? so, but soon I'll be like a pinch. excellent pinch technique. By the way. Thank you. Okay. And this is when we start putting in a touch of turmeric. I mean one fourth teaspoon. Awesome. Because we just want to give it a beautiful little bit of color. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Uh, there you go. Excellent. Thank you. And you're just going to give it just a little drip of oil. Just a little. Say, just say a little. when. These little drips with me. Just a drip. I'm right handed. Just a drip. Just a drip. I'm pretty strong. Bam, so, there you okay, go. okay. Huh? Just a drip. Cool. Okay, so this is the base of our pasta dough. Okay, we don't add any water, we don't add any other liquid. So we're going to keep it a bit cleaner here and just use a fork just to help everything get. But usually, what do you. Well, usually we have, um, there's a certain tool that we use, which is uh, a baker's... Oh, the scraper thing. Scraper, yeah, the yeah. plastic scraper. Next payday, we'll, we'll get the scraper. <laughs> so what I want you to do with this is you're going to maintain your little volcano here. It's like a little volcano, right? Yes. And then you're just going to slowly incorporate the flour around and use the fork to mix it together. Yes. Gently? Gently for now, so you don't uh, make a huge mess on your table. All right. Okay. Cool. And just little swirls, right? Yep, just little swirls. Swirl it around. The flour is going to get incorporated. You can use your other hand Joy. to start building it in. True. I think I've seen this on TikTok. I love food TikTok because it's just so therapeutic and satisfying to watch. <laughs> and short. And short. Attention spans these days, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I've always been so intimidated by cooking. Everybody in my family cooks really well, mm -hmm. and I kind of, you know, fall short in that department. And eventually, want to make healthier stuff for my family. Yeah, you know, especially my son who only loves French fries. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it'd be really cool now that he's branching out into pasta and pizza. You yeah. know, if I could do this for him and show I him. I see a little. I see a little uh, pattern there. Uh, fries, pasta, pizza. Yep. So now, you know, if he sees me doing it, he does it with me, yeah. he might value food differently, you know, when he sees well, that. Well, maybe one so day we'll fun. have him on board here and we can True. really start doing something interesting. Okay, am I doing this right? No, you're doing it perfectly. Okay, so, so now you want to start incorporating the, the flour more because you see now it's not as wet as it used to be, mm -hmm. right? So now that we can kind of get it going, you can kind of start putting everything in and then we're going to start working it with our hands. I'm excited. All right, all right, because right, we're at the fun part now. Yeah. Here, let me in here a little bit. Okay. So now you can start combining. Okay. All right. So now you see it's becoming a bit more of a solid piece. So you're just going to kind of take it and just press everything into each other. Push some love in there, and it's going to slowly start turning into one solid mass. So take one side fold it into the other and press down. Let me just get everything together. So take one side, fold it in, press, press it down. together. Exactly. One side, so you see in. the color starting to come out now, right? Yeah. Also makes me wish I was a little bit taller for this table <laughs> to like really get in there. And is it okay that as it's separate, so I just... Yep. And just keep putting it back together. Mm. So this is the kneading portion of the pasta. So what we're doing is we're developing the gluten strands inside the flour, and that's what's going to make it actually stretch. Mm, love. See, I love explanations for stuff, because as you're explaining it to me, I'm imagining it in my mind. Because this is the difference between, say, a yeast dough and like a pasta. A yeast dough would be something that would expand, and a pasta is something that you want to stretch. Okay. Is this correct? Looking it great. Looks, it, it's looking, the color is looking yep. good. Especially with there. So allow me just to kind of get in there because you really got to get your arms going in there. I know you can do this. I believe in you. I don't. But I feel I'll just 
help you out a little bit. We need some some upper body strength. What was the first dish you ever made? First dish? Oh, first dish I ever made actually was with my mom. We made leche flan. So I was probably about six years old. And that's the first dish I made. Um, And it's something near and dear to my heart. What made you fall in love with cooking? Was that leche flan? I would say uh, runs in the family. Okay. Definitely. Um, my mom's side of the family is very much into food. Um, and we grew up eating a lot and eating well. Uh-huh. Uh, being so a bad. very mestizo family. Ooh. We have a lot of traditions at home and traditions with how we eat. You have to tell me about your other restaurants prior to Wild. So before Wild, actually I was in Baraka. Mm-hmm. So, Set up the man, living the life. You know, hey, what can I say, right? I don't like baby. <laughs> I don't like baby. That's how we do. Right? So how is that? Like you, what made you want to pick up and just open a restaurant at Baraka? Well, um, funny story, actually. Uh, it was my first trip back to the Philippines since my family moved to Canada. And I met the previous summer, I met my uncle, my Tito Bingoy, this uh-huh. mysterious Tito Bingoy, who my we mom always called the Bohemian, who lived on some island in the Philippines uh-huh. called Barakai. Uh-huh. I didn't know what it was. I'm 21 years old. I'm from Toronto, Canada. Uh-huh. You know, I didn't know what was going on. That Christmas was the first time I came back to the Philippines in about 18 years. Wow. And Did you remember suffice it to say, Oh, I just remembered snippets of beaches. Nice. And it's always been back in my heart. The Philippines has always been in my heart. Nice. And um, something that I felt like I wanted to come back to. And coming back, I fell in love with the island. Yep. And I didn't realize what I was getting into. 21 <laughs> year old Barakai, 2006. What happens in Barakai stays in no, Barakai. Never happened. You don't remember it. So. <laughs> <laughs> and there's that. Oh my God. Okay. And then. So um, you just woke up one morning was like, I'm going to open a restaurant. Well, no, my uncle had a restaurant already okay. existing. And I had just finished culinary school. And so Dos Mestizos was a restaurant. It's a Barakai staple. Really popular, yes. And, well, life writes itself, huh? You know, life is quite <laughs> yeah. amazing. It and does. all the surprises that come with it. And now you're here. Yeah. <laughs> Making this pasta dough for me. Now here. I <laughs> I wasn't strong enough. You give me Coach. strength, Denise. You yes. give me strength. What was like the hardest thing you had to do adjusting? It was growth. It was uh, a very exciting time of my life. Yeah. The special thing about Dos Mestizos is that since it's food that my family has cooked and developed over many, many years, a lot of the recipes, even the leche flan recipe of Dos was my mom's recipe. Okay. So I never really got homesick because I always had food from home all the way around very developmental years of my life I learned a lot particularly in the restaurant industry and I wouldn't be who I am today if if it wasn't for my time there at those very very appreciative and then what pushed you to open wild growth growth is everything you know after 13 years in Baraka it was kind of time to go somewhere else a little bit bigger go to a new frontier try something more adventurous and that was one of the best decisions I could have made Goosebumps. Right? I love Charcao. I mean, at one point, the first time I went there to see my cousin and Hendrik and mm-hmm. all of them, I wanted to buy property there right the moment I got there. And yeah. I wanted to just leave Manila and just go. It's really magical over there. It is. Young people doing cool things. Exactly. You know, it's got a beautiful energy in Chargao. It's very adventurous and it's exciting. Every time I need to recharge, I go over to Chargao. Well, I hope to see you there. I know. I still haven't eaten at Wild yet, so I still have to make my... Give us a few months. Okay, yes. (laughs) We're rebuilding, but we will be back bigger, badder, faster, stronger, because that's how we do. Right? Bounce back. Right? Well, while we're bouncing back, our dough is about ready here, and we're going to be putting this aside. Yes, chef. Hold on. This is for my nails come in handy. Okay. So important with the pasta process is letting the, the dough rest. Yes. Okay. What we're doing is while you let it rest, much like with the bread, you're developing the gluten strands inside and everything's going to be much softer. So we're going to put it in the ref for about 30 minutes and then we're going to come back to it. Okay guys, welcome back. 
So Denise, we have our beautiful pasta dough that we just prepared. Nice. And as you can see, it's much more pliable now. Feel that, feel that. Ooh, yes. Right? It's like, it's like um, a lighter Play-Doh. Exactly. And so what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna portion this first. A knife, so, chef? Okay. Please. Okay. Okay. Just, first, cut in half. Okay. I, I wanna make you proud and... Excellent knife work. That's good. That's excellent the way it is there. And then we're just going to take these two portions. So we get two portions out of this. Okay. And we're going to stretch it out a bit. All right. Give it a little smell. Tell me what it smells like. I do smell the turmeric. Right. So you get that yeah, color really out of good. it. So what we're going to be doing is we need to flour our workstation. Right. This is, that way nothing gets sticky. Yeah. This is the one time we can make a mess. Real. We're gonna be rolling. Right, we're gonna be using a trusty red here. I okay? know. This is my first. I've always seen these. I've always wanted to use one. There you go. Okay, so we just do a little turn ski. What we're gonna be doing right now is kind of shaping the pasta. Okay. Okay. We have it on the biggest setting right now. And notice how uneven that is. Right? We fold. Okay. Okay. And then we do a little press. Yes. And what this does is it basically squares it off. Ooh. A lot of cradling going on. Okay, we're gonna go down one more and you're gonna give this a shot now. So don't be fingering it up around. Yeah. You want to use open palms. You want to use the back of your hand. Gentle. You know? So, please. She's doing it, guys. I am. She's oh my doing gosh. it. And that looks good. And the beautiful thing, if it's not perfect, then we just call it rustic. Instagrammable. <laughs> Edgy. Let me catch. You finish it, you finish it. Teamwork, teamwork. Hey. So you see how we've grown already yes. with our pasta. We've so grown. we're just gonna do a little bit more light flowering because as you can see, the edges are getting hot. That looks so cool. Yes, our baby. Okay, hold this. Behold your creation. <laughs> All right? So we went from this to, to this. this. Right? That is the gluten that gives it this little floppiness, it right? Kind of so like dog cool. ears. Can right? you guys see the light like poppy through? <laughs> so congratulations on your first pasta sheet. Yes. This is this is how we do it. Achievement. In the unlocked. window, in the window, in the So we're just gonna get cleaned up a little bit, guys, and our next step is gonna be blanching our, our pasta dough. So that means we get a pot of water and we give it a par cook so that we can start making the rest of our items. Chef, what is blanching? Okay, blanching is when you boil an item just a little bit, okay. just to get it cooked a bit al dente. Cool. You know, blanching generally for vegetables, like yes. if you want to pre-cook your vegetables. So what we're going to be doing is blanching the pasta so that it expands and hydrates. So when we roll the lasagna, it's easier to work with. We're going to clean up with magic. All right, we got this. Okay, three, two, one. So, um, we we're got, back. Yes. We're going to let our water come to a boil. We have our pasta sheets, as you can see, ready. Looking Beautiful so pretty. Color, looking nice. Um, what also we're going to be doing is we're going to be roasting some talong. So we're going to be roasting eggplant as we would for, say, a torta and talong. Okay, this Which gives I have it, never made either. Uh, oh, so. so I guess that's going to be coming up right. then, isn't it? Right? So we got our eggplant. Mm -hmm. And to stop it from exploding because of the steam inside, you're just going to... Stabby. Go at it a little bit, right? A little stabbies. Stab that huh? along. <laughs> a little stabski. So okay. just a little. I'm so scared. Oh, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Release the aggression. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> but just spread out, right? With a little like an yeah. inch in between. Exactly. Kids, don't try this at This oh. is probably the most kid-friendly thing kids can be doing. In the <laughs> so we're going to get our talong and let's get the fire started first. Cool. And we'll get it, we'll put it directly over? Directly on the fire. Oh, for real? Yep. So we've got some more here. Nice. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be basically charring the outside. 
So what that's gonna do is it's gonna roast off the skin, giving it a smoky flavor. And that's why you, that's why you got that very particular taste with the tortan colón. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna take that flavor and we're gonna put it inside our lasagneta, which is actually a vegetarian dish. And those who know me know I like my meat. But you know what? Just because it's vegetarian doesn't mean it's not good, right? right? You know, I'd rather make vegetarian food people don't even know is vegetarian. I can already imagine the flavors going on with the smoky. Imagine the flavors. So many flavors. I know flavors. I might not know how to cook very well, but I know my flavors. So this is the first okay. time I'm seeing like how they kind of do it. You can see it already charring on the sides right there. Now what the you're going to get also is a smell. Are you smelling that yet? Yes, All I right. am. Right, right, right. Wafty. Right, wafty, wafty. We like to waft. I now you know why you waft, smell right? Oh, we hear it sizzling now. Right. So we just want to turn it around. Nice. What we get with the charring is we get the flavor. So, as you can see, it's kind of toasty, toasty. It's all wrinkled up. You know, it's cooked inside. Okay, go for it. Go for it. Yeah. Right. Ooh. Okay, we're almost that, this there. This smells so good. Just give me some ketchup. <laughs> For real though, right? right? Just hey, give there's me nothing some ketchup. wrong with eating ketchup with tortan colón because right? that's legit. No shame. You know? Next right. step for this, plastic wrap. As you can see, there's that steam coming off, right? Mm -hmm. We want to trap that. We're going to keep that the heat keep it going. inside so that once we remove the skin, it'll come off much easier. We'll get back to this bad boy. Cool. And now I think our water is, watch out, super boiling. There you go. Boom. Okay, now what we're it's gonna do is time. what are we calling it? Blanching. Blanching, exactly. Okay, this is so what I'm super steps nervous about. Of blanching. Yes. All right. We have the product, we have the heat, the water, and we have the cold. Cold. Because what you need to do is you need to arrest the cooking process after okay. you blanch. There's a that's the difference between blanching and cooking. We're not cooking it completely. We're not cooking we're it through. We're cooking it yeah. exactly, and to stop it from overcooking, we need to put it in our ice cold water. Nice. All right. So we're going to get one of our pasta sheets here. Okay. And we're just going to jibble it in Ooh, here a little okay bit. It's okay to like put it over each of itself? Yep. Okay. And what you're going to see is it expand. That's what we're kind of looking for. Okay. We just want to give it about 30 seconds to a minute. Yeah. Oh, it is expanding. Right? You, you see that? That's so cool. That is the water getting inside the noodle and the flour being hydrated in there. Okay. Cocoa. Now, I just want to show you the difference in size. Okay. Oh, true. So now wow. it's grown in its size. So that's the difference we have oh, yeah, sure. with the two cooked yeah, and uncooked. So we'll put this here. Look at that beauty. Now, please do the next one. I believe in you. <laughs> the nervous laughter. You can do it. I believe in you, baby. You will go in perfectly. All right. Ah! <gasps> now you're good. No, I made sure there was like gaps of water in between each you're good, fold. You're good, you're okay, good, you're cool, good, cool, you're good. cool. Okay, hold this. Okay. Oh, okay, sorry. Give it a little, uh, give it a little love. Give it a little attention. Girl. I don't want to rip you, so I'm just going to like move you around right, just a little right, bit. Right, right, There you go. Now right. you see it expanding, yes, right? I That's do. what you want. And it's not sticking to each other like I exactly. feared. Exactly. That was what I was afraid of. So look at that. Look at the size it's gotten now. I think you're just about there. So this is the fun part, okay? Right, Get it. Make sure. Clasp it. With love, though. There you go. One, two, three, go. Right. Excellent work. You know what? She did a fantastic job. Yes! Ding, ding, I, ding! I can go home now. You heard All right? fantastic, I think I'm right? done. I can go home now. All right. Okay. How does it look, Chef? Very good. So, gently take it out and we're going to put it right here. And that's going to be ready for our rolling in a few minutes. Rolling? Rolling. Ooh. We, this is a rolled lasagnette. It's not going to be a layered lasagnette. Yes. Excellent. Guys, guys, really, look at that. Look at that. Look at what she did. Huh? Beautiful. Now you have pasta sheets. All right. So what we're going to be doing next is now we're going to be doing all the filling for the lasagna. Oh, nice. So this we have nice. two things that we're going to be doing. We're going to be making a ricotta mix. Nice. Okay. That's Yum. going to be for the inside. And we're also going to be making a little topping. Um, I have a special recipe for a bourzen cheese. I've been doing it wild for 
Is it okay that we're doing it here today? Oh, hell yeah. Hey, you know what? Hey. Ain't no secrets in my kitchen. Ooh, All I right? like that. Ain't no secret. I ain't scared. Right. So, you guys are going to learn how we do our bourse and cheese. Okay. Um, of course, it's not exactly how I do it because we, we got some things. little secret. But um, it's going to be the basic and I really want you to try it because I think you're going to really enjoy it. I already know. And I don't know, maybe um, if our friend Hendrick's around and has some focaccia we somewhere, we might be able to try it, it with that. I don't know, right? <clears throat> He's right behind the camera. <laughs> All right, Denise, we're almost there. We we're are almost, almost there. We got a couple of things. There. Now, I hope it's not daunting, is it? I'm okay? actually more excited right? about because look, we did Exactly. Daunting. Now that you've done the big thing, the other little things are going to be a bit more fun. Well, we got to put something inside, right? True, true. And it's got to be delicious, right? Delicious. Because that's how we do. You are going to use my knife and you're going to do some chopping. Yeah. For... Don't know the proper way, chef. Just letting you know how to... As long as you don't... Knife. Destroy this. We're gonna be happy. Okay, because okay? that's probably super duper expensive. So we're just gonna chop up a little bit of dill. Cool. All right? What's up, dude? So what's the proper way of holding a knife? You show me. You got this, and then you're supposed Wait. to do that. Proper way of holding a knife. Okay, look at this. When you hold the knife over here, okay, look at that. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's like kind of like weak and flimsy, uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. That's how accidents happen. Okay, you don't get strength in your cut. Yeah, we don't want that. Hold it here. Okay, now when you hold it there, you have control. You have strength. It's a strong spine. Now, don't do you feel the me. difference? Do you feel the difference? Yes, I do. More okay. stable. Excellent. You already know, fingers inside so that your knife rests here. True. Otherwise, you go like this, bang, it happens. It happened to me, you know, it happens. What's the worst thing that's ever what accident? Mm. Worst accident ever. Horror stories. Cooking horror Bread stories. knife. Bread knife? Bread knife, yeah. What the least you would... Oh, because of the grooves. Yes. Ah. I lost two fingers. Good thing they grew back. Dad joke 101. <laughs> no, for real. What yeah, happened? For real, for real, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I cut a part of my finger. Okay. It grew back. Right. No joke. So, we grouped it together with yep. like this. And then, rock. There you go. This is a sharp knife. Okay, keep going. How keep going. fine are we? A little finer, a little finer, but you can go. Take your time, take your time. You got it. And then, and then Chef, I'll let you show your skills because I'm afraid. Nothing to be scared of. And then we just oh. do a little choppy choppy. So of this course. is a choppy choppy action. Of course he did it like that. I could have done it like that too. <laughs> now, recipe. Recipe. Okay? Hold this. Got you. We do two parts cream cheese to one part unsalted butter. Unsalted butter in baking and cooking is what you want to use. If you use salted butter, you really run the risk of oversalting your food. Okay? Gotcha. Stick this in there. Noted. Okay, that's cream cheese. Cream cheese right here. So we have eight ounces cream cheese. We're going to be putting four ounces of unsalted butter. Got you. Temperature, room temp. Room temp. We want it to sit because we're going to be mixing it together. So we'll just put a little bit of garlic because this is one of my main flavor profiles. Uh, uh, uh. No Who vampires in my house, right? I tell you that right Who now. Who doesn't love garlic, too? We're going to be putting in this beautiful dill that you did. Ooh, so pretty! You know why we put dill? Because we want it delicious, right? So delicious. Ah, uh, of black pepper. Nice. You know, actually, I use, uh, I use a machine for this. But I figured you wanted to see the hands-on approach. Of course. I can smell this and I would totally love a baguette for this right now. Exactly. <laughs> it smells so good. Yeah? Ah, uh, for somebody who says she doesn't do much bacon, she spatulas quite well. Your there spatch you technique is quite right? proper. Get some air in there. Now, we need to mix this for 15 minutes straight. Huh? Okay? <laughs> High speed for 15 minutes. So let's get a little time lapse going on there. But look, it looks lighter. Yes? We don't need 15 minutes. Oh, you but were you're just getting there. With me? Oh, totally messing with you. You're almost there. Just give it a little bit more love. Yes, looking good. Look. I look. would say looking excellent. Yes. And now, it feels lighter. Give her a little dizzy. Ooh, I do have some. Yeah, buddy. So, Denise, excellent work with that. And we're going to roll right into our ricotta mix. So, this okay. one we'll just put in the fridge. 
ricotta. Next we're going to be doing is our ricotta. So our ricotta is what's going to be the the body that's going to be inside the lasagnetta. Because right now we're using very light flavors. We have a light pasta. We'll be having tomato sauce. We'll be having the roasted talon. We're going to have kangkong. Those are all very light and fresh flavors. Yes. So we want something with a bit of body to hold everything, everything together. together. So we have our fresh ricotta. 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 Right? Yeah, ricotta. Okay, so, okay, I'm so gonna, give it a little mixy mixy. I'm gonna break this up. Yep. Okay, we're gonna add in two egg yolks. The egg yolks are gonna be adding body to it, it adds richness, right? Shablangers. Shabling. Okay, we're gonna add. Ooh, it smells so good. Almost like ice pepper. cream. Almost like, okay, okay. Is that strange that I'm saying? Kind, kind, kind of, kind of, kind of. But you know what? I can roll with that. So we want to add a little oomph to it. Lemon zest. Lemon zest. We got so this. allow me to zest the lemon, right? So just a little bit in here. Why lemon zest and not lemon juice? Can you tell me that? I guess this one has a little bit of texture and a little bit of a bitter flavor to it. You don't want the bitter. The bitter would be getting into the white, the pith. Okay. You just want the yellow. What's in the yellow is the oils. And smell that. Oh, I get that? it. Yes, I do. Okay, once you break the skin and release the oil, that's when the aroma the of the lemon really comes out. And what this does, it gives lemon flavor without introducing the acidity of mm. lemon juice. Got you. Noted. Right? Huh. Let's put in maybe half of that mozzarella because I like mozzarella. I love mozzarella. I love cheese. Okay. Half. Okay, and we're also going to be pouring in some extra virgin olive oil because that just tastes delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay, it give her a mixy mix. Can you see that? Okay, we're almost there. Huh? Yes. Everything's looking wonderful. I'm enjoying the technique. Yeah, you like my, my mixing skills? I think you're doing a phenomenal job. How is, what's the consistency supposed to be Exactly like? like that. True. There you go. All right, so we're going to get to our final portion of this. Um, important to note that we have preheated the oven. Okay, this is a lasagna. Lasagnas are traditionally baked. So we preheated the oven to about 350 degrees. And right now what we're going to do is we're going to assemble the lasagnetta. So we are at our final portion. We've prepared the ricotta cheese. We've prepared the talong. Now, a smell, a smell. Oh, I'm hungry. It smells good, huh? I'm hungry. Right. We've got some beautiful tomato sauce that she did herself behind the scenes. And I got to say, this tomato sauce is a banger. All right. Delicious. Delicious. Um, we have our little special thing that I like to use. I'm a very big fan of using local ingredients. So we've got our pasta sheet. Okay. What's a lasagna look like? You know, it's a typical layered over each other. We're doing exactly. it differently this time though. So we're doing a rolled lasagnetta. Okay, so we're gonna start with a bit of tomato sauce because this is gonna be our acidity, our moisture mm -hmm. inside our pasta. I wish you could feel how excited I was to try this because I love, I love pasta so much. So what I wanna see you do is take little bits of this beautiful, beautiful mixture and you just bop skis. Bloop. Okay, now I want you to get some of the eggplant at the long and you're going to put it in the other areas. Okay, cool. So we are going to put kong kong all up inside. This looks so beautiful. Wow. -um. Okay. Boom. Now, the, the roll. All right. Now the heart part. We're going to get rolling. This, I feel like this would be like a minute to win it challenge. <laughs> just to not get everything to fall out or break. Okay. You just start on one side. Okay. Use the kong kong. To help. And tuck. 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 Right? You see that? Yes. My hands are clean. Bada bing, bada boom. Lasagnetta. Look at this though. Yes. Yes, that looks so beautiful. So, so the trick here is to eat it like a burrito. For reals? No. Oh, <laughs> I told you I believe everything. <laughs> We're just going to do a little cut skis here. Now we need in our little baking mm -hmm. tray here, 
We're gonna put a little sauce on the bottom. A little bed. Okay. And now you're gonna see what makes the roll lasagna. Take your lasagna. Ooh, love And when that. we bake it, all this exposed noodle is gonna get nice and you're gonna get some color on it. Yes. Okay, you're gonna get the mozzarella and you're gonna... Ooh, give yeah. me some mozzarella love, give me cheese. I like you the know, cheese. We like the cheese oh, here. Yes. We got that in slow motion. Give me motion. more, my God. And you know what? We got these beautiful cherry tomatoes. Drop. Why not? Uh, let's yes. put some tomatoes in there. I love cherry tomatoes. Drizzle yes. me some olive oil. Should Get I in there. It? Just zhuzh. Zhuzh away. They I believe, do it like I believe that? in your zhuzh. Okay, guys. Now we are ready for the oven. Cool. So, How long? Denise, you've done a wonderful, wonderful job. Thank you it for looks teaching fantastic. Me. You Come did on. a wonderful job teaching That's me. That's how we do, baby. How we That's do. how we do, baby. Come on, back to back, back to back. That's how we do. That's, That's how, how we, we do. do. Wait, so, Chef, how many minutes in there? We'll do it for about 20, 25 minutes. Okay. Looks right. so pretty. So, allow me to get the oven for you. Oh, thanks, Chef. What a gentleman. We did that. Woo! Woo! Oh, that's hot. Oh, my gosh. Woo! So, I remember, I do. We're going to go in with the tomato. We're going to zhuzh it just a little bit. Uh, am I under a time limit here? Because I feel soigne. like. No, no, no time limit. Just hurry up. All right. <laughs> One Ooh, you are generous, though, huh? Somebody Sorry. really likes that ricotta. Is that for your cousin? Is that what's happening right now? Yeah. I'm just worried about the rolling. That's why I'm like, oh. So you said over tuck. and then tuck. There you go. You see, use the kong kong. Use the leaves to keep your fingers clean. You want to keep a little bit of space inside so that when it bakes, you have nice layers in your pasta. Ladies and gentlemen, she's done it. It looks fantastic. Let the knife do the work. You'll find how easy it is to cut. Excellent. Approval? Gorgeous. 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 Denise, you're hired. <laughs> All right, let's put it in the oven. I shall put this. And this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Nice. Ooh la la. Oh, then you know what? Let's get the other one also to show yours. Okay. This smells bad. And here Dusted. we have Wild Signature Rolled Lasagneta. Again, one of our OG dishes. You did a fantastic job. Look at that. Thank if you, you could chef. only smell this. Okay. So now this is where our beautiful boars and cheese comes into play. Mm. We're gonna get yours because yours looks really, really nice. Ooh, mine okay. looks really, really Look nice. Look at the color. So let's see what we got going on on the inside. Ladies and gentlemen, there we have rolled lasagna. We did that together. Come here. Air hug. We hug in this house. Oh, uh. We hug in this house. <laughs> but chef, you got to put me to the test. Ooh, it has on that the like inside. little crust there. Right. Mm -hmm. Ooh. This mm -hmm. is a hot one, guys. Mm -hmm. Fire. <laughs> Fire on all levels. You know, I like surprising myself. But you approve? Oh. I mean, did I get a stamp of approval on this one? I'm going to take this plate in the back. Ooh. Yep. No word. Denise, <laughs> thank you very much for having me. No. 
Thank you, Chef. Oh. Super thank you. I hope we can have you back. I I was listening to all the things that you want to do and showcase. Well, thank all that of you for an having honor me as well. For me. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're, we're just gonna, getting started, guys. We're going to add we're your um, social media stuff underneath so they can follow you. This is our main camp. And among all the other events, we're going to be doing a lot of events in Manila, in Baraka, in Bacolod. So please keep an eye on our socials and see what we got coming up. At wild.shargao, guys. We're going to have a lot of fun with it. So like, comment, subscribe on right. there. Booyakasha. Please, booyakasha. Booyakasha, baby. Thank you. And that is how you do a roll de lasagneta. All right. Thank you very much. Spicy enough? Ooh, lasagneta. Without a quota. You got to get in there. Bye, guys. <laughs>